What was the preparation for you guys mentally and emotionally to start the process? I don't think this being on a reality show really prepares you for everything you can talk about as a family and know that we're going to be talking about you know hardships and then exposing just like your family dynamic. We had an idea, but I think until you actually go through it, you really can't prepare yourself for everything. Uh, but the most important thing was doing like mental health checks with the family, having open line of communication, talking about things. I think that's what really is the the key the key thing to making sure that you know you can work with a, such a big family because it's not just your family but now you're working with them and so there's just so many different layers to that um, right yeah and <laughs> apologizing if you you know yeah hurt someone's feelings or anything like that like she said having the clear line of communication open so that you can explain something mm -hmm. uh, but you honestly forget that the cameras are there because you're so comfortable with your sisters and you have these conversations anyway. Mm -hmm. And you forget. Yeah. I mean, there were moments when I, you know, watching the series where it's, I felt so uncomfortable for some of the girls, some of your sisters, because I know at times it was, oh, my God, I got to take this mic off. Like, I can't do this right now. So I, I, I love that, you know, the reality of it is important, but also you guys were so sincere in where you're coming from and wanting to portray. There's so many layers to each of the sisters. What were you trying to let the audience realize about the bond with sisterhood and family? Because it really is all about love. Yeah. Well, I think for me, the most important thing was, is that we wanted to share our journey with the world and how we balance our culture and religion and our everyday lives and how we, you know, come to a decision and to let the world know that we're not representing one religion and not representing one community, the Afghan Muslim community, and to let them know that we are relatable, you know, share that journey and expel some of the taboos that are out there. Yeah. And for me, um, the, the tensions, oh, the tensions. Yeah. We have, for me, it's also to just eliminating some of the stigmas that are around just being a successful woman and looking a certain way. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize that like we're educated and we have, you know, real careers outside of, of, you know, showing our life on, on uh, a reality TV show. So I think it's important too, is to keep that, to have that balance. Uh, and, yeah, dispel those myths or those those stigmas that a lot of people think about Muslim women. Because again, uh, we believe that everybody's rela relationship with God is their own, right? It's not based off of how you look, what you wear, what you do, how you act. And I think that's the hardest part right now is but getting that point across. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we're going to live in our truth. Yeah, we're going to bring we our, like, our, our raw story and, you know, we're not going to, please everyone that's out there, but there are going to be people that are going right. to find comfort in this, in our story. Cause there's so many people and there's 10 sisters. We, each of us has a really unique story that someone will relate to. It's difficult when you're beautiful. People have so many misconceptions. Oh, well, you're pretty. Well, maybe you're not that smart. Oh, wait, you're pretty and you're a doctor and you're pretty and you're doing this. So I really like the, I, I see that that's such a difficult transition, especially today. And we're so caught up in what the visuals of people look like. Mm -hmm. So I love that you're representing and not being, ashamed of that because right. sometimes we get in that box yeah. so talk a little bit about that part of the experience for you as a beautiful woman doing what you're doing in the environment that you're in yeah i mean it's definitely been a challenge for me i'm sure for all my sisters i think in, you know even in medicine right um i'll tell you a story my sister's a registered nurse and she took on a contract um and when they found out the show happened uh, there were nurses that were very mean to her and they called her a wannabe influencer, influencer. and my sister is a trauma nurse that has 14 certifications who has been working in the field of any all medicine got the uh, job based off qualifications took 36 courses yeah and was judged just based on, on her, her looks. appearance and i get the same thing as well you know when i walk in when i was working in the emergency room um you know we obviously wear a uniform and everything but you know we take pride in, in being you know fit and healthy and beautiful because we that. And being ethnic, wrong with because it. a lot of the questions that come out are, where does your name come from? And thinking that because of your name, you must not be educated or, you know what I mean? There's a lot of stereotypes. And with that most recent experience with my sister, Sadiqa, I really had to console her. I mean, she cried. Yeah. And it upset me that in this day and age, this kind of stereotype and judgment exists. Why can't you be beautiful? Why can't you be smart? Why can't you look ethnic? And why can't you belong? Yeah. So 
And that's why we're excited that we have this platform that we so that we can showcase that uh, and hopefully open doors um, and then utilize this platform for the good. So that's why we're here. <laughs> There's one reason why anybody out there should watch a show, especially these young, emerging young women. What would it be for them? I think the show is inspirational. Mm -hmm. It's raw. It's authentic. It's uh, there's culture, there's religion, you know, there's such dynamic Dynamic. between traditionalism and modernism and that perfect blend and that balance between the two. I think again, like the story, their age sister story has an audience that can relate to it. And we're even seeing that like overwhelming support through just even our social media as people messaging us, Hey, you know, love your story or I love your story. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. So, um, and not being glad victim that, to circumstances yeah. that, you know, we're okay. glad that we reached such a, such a, a large audience and we're able to, to show that our yeah. journey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Thank Continue you. Thank doing you. a fabulous job and a wonderful journey and empowering all these women out there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Thanks. Thank you so much. 